Hi, I'm Mark Jardine, and today I'm speaking with Tom Barry Cotter, who is Maritimo's lead designer. Now, Maritimo is Australia's premier luxury yacht builder and located on the Gold Coast in Queensland, founded in 2003, but with 60 years of boat building behind them. Um, now, Tom, can you tell me a bit of a history about your own family's involvement in yacht building and how Maritimo came about? Yeah, so Maritimo uh, was founded by my father, uh, Bill Barry Cotter. Um, he still remains in the business, and uh, so he founded Maritimo in, uh, back in 2003. Um, so uh, my dad's, uh, his boat building career um, dates back to the, the early 60s. Um, and um, you know he's uh, built up brands uh, such as uh, Mariner Cruises, uh, Riviera, um, and built boats uh, here in Australia for, for brands like like Grand Banks, Worldcraft. So um, it's a long resume um, and uh, you know a lot of experience uh, behind uh, Maritimo, and um, with sort of yeah, years years in the making um, to to be able to build what we build today. And Maritimo, over 17 years, you've grown from a startup to now what is the premier luxury yacht builder in Australia. Um, this expansion must have been extraordinary to be a part of and, and also manage as you grow your team. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, from uh, you know, a few boats uh, in its initial year, sort of you know, in 2004 was the first release. And um, you know, it grew steadily uh, from there over over the, the few years. And um, um, you know, through the GFC, uh, experienced some uh, tough times as the entire industry did. And um, so, on the tail end of, of that sort of era, uh, Maritimo has been in a really strong um, growth phase, and uh, we've expanded our manufacturing facilities uh, here on the Gold Coast um, to a complete new facility. Um, that adjoined our current property, and um, so we uh, we expanded that back in 2016, the end of 2016, and um, yeah. So today, you know, um, uh, we're uh, growing and uh, building uh, more exciting products every year, and um, and growing our, our market and our distribution, and um, yeah. So there's exciting times ahead. Now I can't help but notice behind you is a vast trophy cabinet and you have grown up around power boats and racing is a huge part of your life. Um, can you tell me a bit about that? And that's something that uh, yeah, Maritimo is, uh, is very unique uh, in that uh, we're the only uh, motor yacht manufacturer in the world with a, a dedicated racing division. So, uh, you know, that's, it's something that we feed into um, that technology and that experience uh, into all of our uh, motor yachts. Um, and that's something I've grown up with my whole life, something my father has done, uh, you know, throughout uh, his day. And um, it was something I just uh, couldn't escape. So it's um, uh, a great and unique point of difference um, and um, but, you know, as well it uh, presents its own challenges and, uh, and uh, excitement as well. And you've had some success in 2019 for example in the XCAT world, um, the win, you've won the title, the World, world Championship. Yep, so uh, we, uh, we did, we took out the UIM XCAT World Championship uh, last year so um, which is considered uh, basically the pinnacle offshore world championship uh, in, in the sport. And um, yeah, so we did that with uh, our, own, our own team, our own boat and design that was manufactured uh, here at our facility on the Gold Coast. So we're the first actual uh, team outside of the UAE uh, to take that title. So um, we're also the first team to take the, the qualifying title, the pole position title and the actual pole uh, world Championship uh, in the one season as well. So um, it's been heavily dominated over the years um, by the UAE, just with um, two different teams based out of Dubai and Abu Dhabi there, uh, which are government funded. And um, as you can imagine, can uh, you know, really uh, put some, some, some effort and some power uh, you know, into their programs. So uh, with the funding that they're, uh, they have. Um, so yeah, to take on you know, the, the world's best from, from the Middle East, from Europe, America 
uh, and you know, the Asia Pacific here to, to take on everyone and uh, come out on top was, um, was certainly an amazing feat and something we're very proud of. And this racing, the, especially with results like this and putting the cat amongst the pigeons, must really put you on the world stage and make people turn around and notice Maritimo as a brand. Yeah, it cert certainly does. So obviously in, in sports like Formula One and the automotive industry, you know, you can see direct correlations to, um, you know, their, their sales and the interest in their product and, and their performance on, on the racetrack. And, um, you know, we do see, um, you know, a, a resemblance of that uh, in our industry as well. So um, certainly just the exposure, the, the credibility um, that that gives, gives you um, and it just shows the, the world and showcases your product to the world, but also showcases what, uh, you know, the company uh, is capable of in, in terms of, um, you know, the experience and the, and the technology and, and everything that we can then invest back into our product. And talking of the product, you've got three main styles that you do your yachts in, the X and S and M ranges. The X being the most sporty. Do you think this is the range which gains the most benefit from your racing heritage? The X series certainly, uh, you know, it's our sport yacht model. Um, it certainly uh, does gain a lot, um, but so does the, the rest of our range. You know, the, the technology that we, that we feed back in, um, you know, that experience, it, it's not isolated to one model, but, but certainly the synergy, I think, um, with the market, I think that sportier, uh, maybe a younger demographic market that is tied to the, uh, um, the sport yacht in the, in, in the X series, um, I, I certainly think that that does resonate even more uh, with the racing side. So, um, but, but certainly, uh, you know, those benefits can be seen across all of our products. And when you're racing, the key for any boat, whether this be power or sailing, is efficiency and how you can drive a boat through the water with the least amount of power, the least amount of fuel to make it go as fast or as far as possible. And do you find this, the racing side, is providing you benefits in both range and efficiency and really just designs that you put out? Absolutely, you know, um, it's the racing, uh, what it does from a cultural aspect uh, in, the, in the company um, down to, um, you know, just technology and, and nuts and bolts things of the way we do things and mindset of the way we do things, um, you know, it, it has such a large effect. Certainly in terms of the, the efficiency of our boats, you know, that's our forte is, is extracting the maximum amount of performance out of a hull, you know, out of a, out of a drive line, out of a propeller, um, and out of the entire boat that we can. And that's you know, why you see our products that we, we can, you know, manufacture our boats lighter, more efficient, you know, we can have less power to do effectively the same speed as, uh, as, as everyone else in the market. And talking of that, um, you, you mentioned there the drive system and you use the inline shaft drive system. Do you think that's a difference which is something that makes you stand out from the crowd? So it certainly does in uh, today. So um, as you know, the uh, straight shaft of direction, you know, shaft technology, it's, uh, it's been around a long time. And that's, uh, that's something that uh, why we stand by it. It's tried, it's tested, it's tough, it's reliable. And that just meshes with the identity of, of who Maritimo is. You know, we're a, we're a long range cruising brand and, um, you know, our customers expect um, all of those, all of those features, and that's uh, in, what we inherently want to build into and design into every product. Um, it is a boat that uh, you know is, is simple uh, in its in its engineering, but but effective. Um, and that's uh, with a racing um, sort of synergy. There is just incremental evolution of 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 improving things. You know, little by little over the years, it can you know make a, a really big difference uh, over time you know and that's what you know you, know, you, you see it uh, in car racing and in all forms of, of, of racing you know they're, they're not reinventing the wheel every every season with something completely drastic and new it's just about incrementally uh, improving and it's um it's similar in in what we do uh, here so we are every new design every new model 
um, we are just refining and making better and better and better. And because we haven't changed, uh, you know, technologies uh, with with the fad of the time and you know what's there, we've stayed true to shaft drive. Um, you know, that's where we've made such leaps and bounds uh, using a system that it's far more cost effective for our customer. Um, and in the end, uh, it's more efficient, uh, more reliable and more durable. And when it comes to range cruising, that reliability, being people want to know that when they are going offshore, that things aren't going to go wrong and that systems are simple enough to maintain. And that must make a huge difference, just giving people that peace of mind. Absolutely. And that's... That simplicity, um, you know, is throughout the whole the whole of the boat. So from from the the, uh, the keel up, um, you know, you, you've got to imagine being a long range cruising brand. Our customers are actually you know going from port to port to port. So you know they may not know of a service agent that's going to be in that that area. They're they're away from um, their home marina. So when they you know pull into a marina, they want something that that uh, if you know, they, they hit a sandbank or something like that, that um, you know, a local mechanic can take one look at it and, uh, and you know, the problem can be resolved very quickly and they can be fat cruising you know, as quick as they can. You know, some of these other, other technologies out in the market as well, you know, they just um, you know, can, be, can be an issue uh, you know, when you haven't got you know, that specific uh, brand and, and backup you know, right there at your fingertips. So something that makes a real difference. And the three series that you have, the Flybridge, the Sedan, and the Sport ranges, um, what would you describe as the advantages of each of them? So um, starting with the, the M series, which is an enclosed Flybridge motor yacht, um, that really is um, what, what Maritimo began with. That really is our, our bread and butter that is, uh, you know, a big part of who Maritimo is. And that's um, really the ultimate in long range cruising, uh, having that you know, enclosed uh, flybridge level. Um, it just creates uh, a really comfortable, um, you know, driving position and driving experience. You're in a climate controlled area um, up there where, um, you know, you can bring people up uh, to, to, to cruise around with um, and you've got um, all of that extra accommodation up there that can you know, convert to a, uh, another cabin or another bedroom at, in the evening um, and just gives you a great vantage point. Um, you know, you've got great sight lines all around the boat, all, all down to the horizon for, for any sort of cruising you're going to do. And that opens up all that area as well in your, your saloon deck, on your main deck, um, without having the need for the helm um, on, on that level. So it gives you a, you know, a great amount more uh, lounging uh, on the saloon deck. Our, our S series, um, it is really it's a it's a low center of gravity. It's a it's a real adventurer sedan. So um, it gives you it, it's a single level boat. So it's great for entertaining. Uh, it's great for, for fishing or adventuring. You know, doing doing you know, diving and things of that nature. So it's the cockpit uh, area and uh, all of the deck spaces um, are all you know really fun well functionally fitted out to uh, to do things of that nature. And then you have our, um, also it's shaft drive long range. So, you know, it can, uh, it's ca completely capable of long range performance and, and cruising. And then you have our, our sport yacht model in, in the X series. Um, and it's really identifiable by, um, you know, it, it's lines and performance. Um, but what we have really invested in as a point of difference uh, is the aft cabin. So um, being a, a straight shaft driven boat and, and how we set up all of our Maritimos with a with a low shaft angle and a very neutrally balanced hull as we do all of our, our race boats through that experience. Um, that with the engine positioning and all the, the positioning of the machinery in the boat for the, uh, the center of balance to work, the that creates this this big area in in the aft space of the boat that uh, that creates our aft accommodation. So that can be fitted out in various ways, whether it um, be as a, a beach club, you know, with a convertible bed uh, and bar, you know, and that's really great for for giving you another area of protection for any entertaining you're going to do if you're doing or uh, or um, you know using the the swim platform area of the boat and. Um, or, or it can convert to a, a bedroom for the evening. 
Um, you know, or if you want something more conventional, we can in the sport yacht set that out as a, a really would it be industry leading um, size uh, tender garage. So uh, in our 60, for example, you can fit uh, an on still an on suite down in the aft area uh, of the boat in the aft accommodation with a um, with a 3.4 meter tender garage and access through to engine room and access up to the saloon level. So. So it creates a, a great point of difference, and and the three ranges uh, really have a lot of scope in terms of um, you know providing different needs for for, for people uh, and their you know, requirements that what they want. And this shows a huge amount of adaptability for your boats, just to really suit the owners. Agility is something you really need as a business. You mentioned earlier the GFC and going through that and the upheaval that caused. And right now with the COVID-19 crisis, we're all having to be agile as a business. And are you finding in Maritimo that you can adapt to the situation, that your team can adapt to the situation and change quickly and provide what is needed during this time? Yeah, and we're, we are certainly facing uh, sort of unprecedented times. and. Um, you know, being in the midst of it and, uh, you know, with, with things changing weekly, monthly, um, we're having, as all businesses are, to, uh, to be very agile, very nimble um, and on our feet in terms of the strategies and, and routes we go down. So ultimately, our, our main focus and our long-term goals are, are still in place. But I think, if anything, what this is, is forcing the industry and forcing the world to do, it's... Uh, forcing us to do things in different ways. You know, um, most companies are, are, are moving forward with, you know, the likes of virtual boat shows and, and, and bringing, um, you know, the customer to, to the boats in a more virtual realm. Um, so we're looking down all those possibilities. Um, you know, obviously with boat shows, um, sort of all postponed or canceled uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, you know, that, that is a really um, important uh, aspect and, and thing that we are we are concentrating on um, when it comes back to the design as well you know that's where uh, you know we're we're being very agile in terms of what the what the market uh, is doing in our research we're we're staying on our feet as well and um, and uh, you know to see where we go next so we have some exciting um, products on the way and and the method of how we release that product uh, in a time like this um, is is going to be something very new and um, you know, we'll be excited to, to share that uh, with you guys uh, in, in the coming weeks and months. And looking forward to seeing what that may be. And it's great to see a business which is really thinking on its feet and making sure that you are adapting for the situations. And um, North America is a huge growth area for Maritimo, but of course going through its own problems at the moment. How do you see the future in that market? Um, you know, and that's, uh, you know, if I had a crystal ball, we can tell you, but uh, it's, um, it's certainly going to go through its, its challenges. But, um, you know, uh, the United States is, a, is a, I think, a very resilient uh, country and it's seen, seen many difficult times before. And, um, you know, I think as always, uh, it, it will bounce back and, and continue to be uh, a strong uh, focal point uh, of, of our growth and uh, our investment of uh, of you know where we build maritimo as a brand if you have one project moving forwards that you're allowed to talk about at the moment that really excites you what would it be i think I'll, my answer to that would always be this the same same answer and that's probably just to say the next one so you know that's uh uh, something we're, we're, we're always striving is just to, to, like I said earlier, just to continually evolve um, and uh, continually improve. Um, so, you know, our next design will always be better than the one previous. And, uh, you know, we take, take everything that uh, we learnt and, uh, and, um, and make that better and, uh, you know, and more exciting. And, uh, you know, that's like I said, when we have uh, the announcement in a few weeks, uh, you know, we'll be extremely excited to uh, to show you through i think that sums it up it's always the next point that is coming along and um companies which have that kind of innovation always have the people involved within it are just striving for the next thing looking for the next project and seeing what they can do and it's so clear tom talking to you that that's what 
happens at Maritimo that what drives you forwards throughout your racing through the production yachts so fantastic to get this insight and many thanks indeed for your time Tom no, thank you thank you it's been a pleasure take care and stay safe thank you likewise